Welcome. This video will show you how to use the calendar function in Outlook so that you can organize yourself. So normally when you start up Outlook you're in the mail uh, view. If you want to switch to calendar you click on this button here and that will take you to your calendar view. There are different views that you can switch to so day, work week or month. Uh, month being more like uh, a wall planner but normally work week uh, works well for for being able to get an overview of your week as well as adding events. So if you hover over or drag over an area um, and then type, you can type in um, what subject you have in that time. Um, I'd recommend that you don't try to um, get all the times for lessons perfectly exact, but just round them to the nearest half hour. So module one uh, being 8.30, 9.30, module two, 9.30 to 10.30 and so on. So um, whatever module one is, call it maths for instance, go enter. You'll notice that a, a reminder comes up straight away, that's because um, where I'm adding this event is in the past, so by default you'll see up here um, 15 minute reminders uh, prior to your event is set, so that's why that reminders come up. So when this comes up you can choose whether you want to snooze that alarm, so you can choose when you want that um, alarm to, to come back again or if you're done with it, you can hit dismiss. Now for things like lessons, we don't um, really want reminders to come up all the time because we know that there will be a lesson, we just might want to check when that lesson happens. So set reminders to, to none for the lessons um, and then you can continue to go through um, and add um, other lessons uh, in like fashion. And then you'll see that reminder comes up again, so I'll dismiss that and then make sure that it's uh, the reminder is set to none. If you need to tweak how long an event um, goes for or move the location of that event, you can drag this little white handle to change how long that um, event goes for. Or you can grab that whole event and move it somewhere else um, if you need to. The only other thing that you need to know about um, setting events like this is by default they only um, happen once, so you'll see if I click this button to go to the next week, all the things that I've put in disappear. Now, given that lessons happen every week, I click on that, click this recurrence button, and then click OK to set it to happen every week. So um, that little symbol indicates that now if I go to the next week, you can see that that's appeared there, and do likewise um, for this other event. If it's saying that happens every uh, fortnight, then you set that to two, but most cases you just click recurrence, click OK, and that's all you need to do. Alright, thank you.